In today's video, you're going to learn how to find trending topics for YouTube with Google Trends and AI Chat. So I've made similar videos on the same topic before, but now we have AI Chat. So there's a whole bunch of new AI chatbots, not just ChatGPT. We have a new chatbot called ChatSonic and also Bing Chat by Microsoft. So these are very new and exciting tools that make it a lot easier to find trending topics and to also create viral videos on YouTube. And I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do that in today's video. So this is a process that you have to do before you create a YouTube video. So you have to do the research on what kind of topics are going viral, what are people watching, what are they not watching before you create the video. And we're going to do all of this using features from Google Trends and AI Chat. So if you don't know what Google Trends is, it's a great tool and it's a free tool as well. And you'll learn all about it in today's video. And when I say AI Chat, I'm not talking about ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a great tool, but they have one major flaw. So all the data on ChatGPT is from 2021. So that's from about two years ago. So they don't have any data from right now. So they don't, ChatGPT doesn't really know what's going viral right now, what, what's trending now. So that's a major flaw when it comes to researching trending topics for YouTube. But now there's new ways to research and to create trending content with AI with some of these new AI chatbots that just came out. And you'll learn all about it in today's video. So before we get started with the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and comment down below with any questions, any other video requests or just any random comment. And if you do so, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So if you don't know what YouTube Masterclass is, you can check out the first link in the description below. It's an entire course packed with everything that you need to know about how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel and how to monetize it in multiple ways. So you'll be in the draw to win that course if you just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and comment down below. So I pick a new winner every week. So let's pick last week's winner. So I'm going to go into last week's video right here, copy the link to the video. And I use this website called pickawinner.co, which picks winners from YouTube videos. So it's going to go through all the comments from last week's video and it's going to pick one random winner and the winner is the network. So if you're watching this video, you just need to email me and you'll find my email at the bottom of this video's description. So just email me with uh, this Gmail account. So you should have a Gmail account with the same name and the same avatar. Just email me with that account so I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the course. So if you want to win the course just like the network, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and comment down below. So first thing is Google Trends. So this is Google Trends right here. This is completely free to use. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's trends.google.com. Then ChatSonic. So this is the chatbot that I'm talking about and it's not ChatGPT. So to get access to this, it's actually free to get access to this. Uh, just go to writesonic.com. There'll be a link in the description and just create a free account here. And on the left hand side here, you'll see Chat Sonic and click on that and you'll get access to this right here. So once uh, you've got all of this, we're ready to start doing some research. So to do this, we're going to go into an incognito tab on Google. So just go to uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever uh, browser that you use and just go on to an incognito uh, tab. So the reason why we have to use incognito is because we want to see what's getting um, recommended worldwide, what kind of topics are getting recommended worldwide. So if you're not signed out, out of your YouTube account, it's going to show you recommended, uh, recommended videos based on the videos that you've been watching. So we want to see what's getting recommended to our audience. So I've come up with two different niches for today's uh, um, topic. So I'm going to use the fishing niche and just a general niche. So this can work in any niche, but I'm just going to show you the fishing niche as an example. So I haven't done any research in the fishing niche. So you, you're going to watch me kind of uh, think out loud and do all of this from scratch. And I recommend you watch this entire thing. So you actually know how to do the entire research uh, phase properly. So we've got an incognito tab. We signed out of uh, our account. Then I'm simply just going to go up here and just type in something like fishing. Simple. Then it's going to come up with a bunch of fishing videos. So I'm going to click on a few of these and you don't have to watch the entire video. Just open up a few of these videos on a new tab. So it could be like 
three to five videos. And even if it's just an ad, you just need to watch like half a second of it and just click away. And just click away. So they're all just ads, it doesn't matter. Then when you go into the home page and you hit refresh, you'll see a bunch of fishing videos getting recommended. So you can see right here, this video, Monster Black Marlin Fishing uh, in Panama. So let's open that on a new tab. Here's another one. Risky fishing mission, sneaking into private waters. So that sounds illegal, but we'll still open it up. Um, let's see. So if there's nothing getting recommended, simply just hit refresh again. So we're not only looking for videos that are getting recommended, we're also looking for the channels that are getting recommended. So what is this channel? It's called Black Tip H. This one's called Extreme Pursuit. And it was only uploaded one hour ago and it's already getting uh, recommended. So, but this video right here is probably getting recommended because I'm in New Zealand and this is actually a New Zealand video right here. Um, I can actually tell because, uh, because of this cyclone thing right here. So, um, now let's go into this video. And what I look for are two things. I look at the number of subscribers. So it's 4.9 million subscribers and the number of views. So if the number of views is higher than the number of subscribers, that's a, a good indication that it's a trending video. So that means, because if the number of views is higher than the number of subscribers, that means they're getting their views from outside of their subscriber base, from beyond their subscriber base. It's probably getting recommended in the suggested section right here. It's getting recommended in the home page. Uh, it's get, probably getting shared outside of YouTube. So that's a good sign that, it, that it's a trending video. Let's also look at the next one. So you can see right here, 1.6 million uh, subscribers, 25,000 views. So that's not really a trending video. So, you, so I wouldn't really say neither of these are trending videos right here. Because, you know, this one has, this channel has a lot of subscribers, but they only have 25,000 views. That's, and it was uploaded one day ago, but we can still check the channel. So let's have a look at this channel right here. And also, let's, if you just click on popular right here, it's gonna show you the most popular videos from this channel. So, so you would think like, you know, this video, which was uploaded six years ago, it has 17 million views. And you, you would say maybe this is a trending video since it's got 17 million views and it's got 1.6 million subscribers right here. But six years ago, it's just too long. So you have to look at the, when the video was uploaded as well. So I recommend finding a video that was uploaded less than a year ago. So now let's go back and hit refresh again. And let's, you know, you just keep hit, re hitting refresh until you find that trending video. So let's have a look at this, uh, a week of fly fishing in Alaska. So let's have a look at this. And you can see right here, this video is definitely trending. So usually it takes like, like anywhere between five minutes to even like an hour to find a video like this, but the number of views um, higher than the number of subscribers. It really depends on what kind of niche that you're in. There's certain niches where it's just really hard to find a trending topic, um, but in other niches, it's way easier. So we found our trending topic, so it's called um, uh, a week of fly fishing in Alaska. Then what I'll do is I'll copy the topic of this video. So this t topic is about fly fishing. So let's copy that and let's see if this entire topic is actually trending on YouTube. And for this, we use Google Trends. Oops, let me go back to Google Trends right here. So I'm gonna paste in fly fishing right here and hit search. Then I'm gonna change this from New Zealand to worldwide. And I wanna change this from past 12 months to past five years. And make sure you also change this from web search to YouTube search. And so you can see all the trends in the past five years. It kind of goes up and down, up and down. So I guess it's kind of seasonal. It kind of goes up, down, up, down. So that's one topic. So it's not really trending. It's kind of just staying kind of stable. So that's one topic. Let's just keep it that way. So now we can compare it to another topic. So let's go back right here and let's go back to this channel. So it looks like the entire channels that might actually be based on fly fishing. So it's called Wild Fly Productions. So that's pretty cool. So we can actually, you know, if it's an entire channel based on that, that might be actually like a, a big niche that's within the fishing niche. So that's interesting. But let's click on popular right here. And you can see this video is the second most popular video on this channel. 
and it was uploaded two months ago. So this video is definitely trending. So I would say the fly fishing niche is definitely trending. I think the season's starting to come up. That's why it's kind of going upwards right here. So maybe that is that it uh, maybe it is a good trend to jump on. But we will we will try to find another topic and we'll try to you know compare it. So this is something you should do as well. Compare it to another topic. See which one's better. Uh, food chain fishing. So I don't know what food chain fishing is, but let's just have a look anyway. So that's, oh, this video is, uh, uh, that's four years ago. So that's a bit too old, but let's try this one. Fishing in cobia, uh, fishing for cobia. So I don't know what that is, but we'll try to see what it is anyway. So food chain fishing, let's see what that actually is. So I'm gonna search that up and see if it's got some videos that were recently uploaded. You can see right here, this was uploaded six days ago. And I'm gonna filter it as well with videos that were uploaded this year. And also let's see the most viewed video as well. So you just click on filter right here, click on this year, and then click on view count. So it's gonna show you all the most viewed videos that were uploaded less than a year ago on that topic, food chain fishing. So let's have a look at this. So 1 million subscribers, only 84,000 views. That's not really good enough. Uh, let's see this one. Seven months ago, 332,000 subscribers, 249,000 views. That's close, but still not really close enough. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, again, uh, 1.5 million subscribers, only 200,000 views. So this isn't really a, um, uh, a trending top. But still, I'll compare this with fly fishing. Let's just see how it does. So you can see it's not even close. So food chain fishing is the red line right here, and fly fishing is the blue line. And compared to that, it's nothing. So it's like a, it's that rock bottom right here. Looks like there was a big trend right here around 2019, but then it just dropped off. So that's not a trending topic that I would make a video on. Let's just try one more something else. So fishing for Cobia. So this video is trending because it's got 212,000 views and only 162,000 subscribers. So let's copy this and paste it in. And let's say videos uploaded this year and also view count should be at the highest. So let's have a look here. So most of these videos, Cobia fish. Cobia fish. I don't, actually don't know what Cobia fish is, but let's just have a look at these anyway. So farmer cooking. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, KS fish cuts. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so this video uploaded two months ago. It looks like it's definitely trending right here. Uh, this one, it's also trending. So this is something that is trending. So let's actually have, have a look at this. Fishing for Cobia or Cobia fishing. And let's compare it to nope so that's not really trending but maybe if I change it to cobia fishing instead of fishing for cobias nope that's still not really trending so that's not really a trending topic so it looks like the only trending topic that we found is the flying fish trending topic the rest are kind of not really trending because these types of videos here these sometimes go viral and sometimes don't go viral and they've also got a very clickbaity thumbnails as well. So that's why I was kind of hesitant to even click on them because it's a bit too clickbaity. So you shouldn't try to clickbait all the time because that's not really a good uh, thing, good for the algorithm, good for your YouTube channel for the long term. So these types of videos just aren't going viral. So I would spend a little bit more time finding at least one more trending topic, but this video will just be way too long. So. Let me just you know quickly hit refresh and if you get lucky and find a trending topic, we do, but if we don't, we can just move on. So let's see here. Uh, monster swordfish for hours or never seen before lure. Uh, let's see, lures, trending fish, trending fishing topics. Nope, so we can't really find anything, that's fine. Actually, uh, there's one more here, let me just click on You're this. A sig uh, not really, so salmon fishing. Let's just try this anyway, but let's try salmon fishing if that's a training topic. Yeah, that's better. That's actually looks like the season for salmon fishing has kind of gone down and the season for fly fishing has gone up. 
So it looks like in the fishing niche, there's always these trends of fly fishing, salmon fishing, all types of different fishings, and there's different seasons for it. And then it goes up, down, up, down. And then right now, it looks like the season is fly fishing. So maybe we should focus on that. So just like that, we found a trending topic. Now, how do you use AI chat to actually come up with uh, video ideas for us? So I'm going to copy this, fly fishing, and we're going to use chat sonic. So now we're going to talk about the difference between this and chat GPT. So if I go in here and I'll say, give me the latest, give me the latest videos, uh, latest news, sorry, on fishing. And I hit enter. It says, I'm sorry, I can't get the latest news for you on fishing because it doesn't um, actually have the latest data on news, on the latest trending topics. So, but with uh, Chat Sonic, you can do that. So let me go in here and let me also enable memory. That means it's gonna remember what we always talk about and I'll hit enter. So sometimes this takes a while, sometimes it doesn't take long at all. So if it does take too long to start creating the content, just hit refresh. So there we go. So I just asked it for the same question. What is, give me the latest news on fishing? And it even gives me some references. So it gives me uh, a reference to sports, fishing news, fishing latest news, breaking stories, uh, fishing.com or something like that. So you can see some, some really helpful tool right here. But then I can go further. I can say, give me some ideas for a YouTube video on fly fishing based on the current trending topics on YouTube. So again, you can only create 23 generations per day. So that's for free, but that's only 23, uh, 25 generations per day. So we only used up two, and then it's gonna, we only got uh, 23 more. So with fly fishing becoming increasingly popular, you blah, blah, blah. So it says you could create this. So it's even given us more. So, so it's just given us like a paragraph. So what I'll do is I'll say, be more specific. I'll say, write 10 different ideas for a YouTube video on fly fishing. based on current trends on YouTube. YouTube. So instead of 10, I'll actually say five because compared to ChatGPT, this can't generate that many ideas all on one go. So uh, there are some pros and cons. So ChatGPT can write really long answers for you. You can write like up to 500 words, but uh, uh, chat GPT can't really do that so you can see create a series of videos providing detailed instructions on, on different fly fishing techniques make a video series highlighting best spots for to fish in your area that's pretty good uh, collaborate with other content creators so I should be even more specific I should probably say give me some video title ideas or something like that instead of different ways to create videos or something but you kind of get the point here. So this chatbot really helps when you want to uh, get the latest data just kind of given to you with AI. So it's really helpful. So uh, the, this tool right here, it's completely free to use, but the other ones you do have to upgrade to use them. But this chat sonic feature right here is completely free to use. So before I would just um, you know find a trending topic from Google Trends, and then I'll just try to come up with the video ideas myself you know, without any data or anything like that. But now if with a little help from Chat Sonic, you can actually generate video ideas. So I can just simply type in here, give me some titles for a YouTube video. And it will actually it will actually remember what we talked about here at the top. So since we clicked on enable memory, it actually remember what we actually talked about here and it's giving us some titles. 
And you can see right here, fly fishing 101, learn, learn the basics from the expert, uh, ultimate guide to fly fishing, the best lures for f fly fishing. And you can see it's talking about lures right here. And this video on lures even got recommended. Let me go back right here. Oh, it came up before, but that, you know, videos on lures actually got recommended right here, which I saw just before. So you can mix up two different trending tops together and all of that. So th this is just a new way of finding trending topics for YouTube videos. And then uh, before you actually start creating the video. So just as I was editing this video and I was ready to upload it, I just got access to a new tool called Bing Chat. So Bing Chat is a chatbot that's integrated into Microsoft Bing. So if you don't know what Bing is, it's basically a competitor to Google. So you can search up things just like Google, but they just integrated an AI chatbot into Bing. So this is a big, huge new deal because it's a whole new way to, to research new topics for YouTube, um, for any type of social media accounts that you're on and to find what's going viral, what's not going viral and so on. So uh, I'm, I just got access to this. So you also have to be on a waiting list to get access to this. So that's the only bad part. So I waited for about three weeks and I got access. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be um, it's going to be available for everyone very soon. So it's very it's definitely worth just getting on that um, uh, email list right now. So just go to Bing.com and you can get um, get on that um, email list. So this is uh, Bing Chat right here. So I'm going to uh, search up something like what are some trending video ideas on fly fishing. Um, and I'll say trending YouTube video ideas, YouTube video ideas on fly fishing. Give me 10 different, uh, video ideas and I'll hit search and you can see it working. So we just ask it this question and you can see trending video ideas. Uh, on fly fishing so basically it does the the search for us so it's kind of like us doing a um, a Google search or a Bing search and then we have to manually go through all the links and read all the articles or watch all the YouTube videos but now this pretty much does it for us it's generating the answers for us and you can see right here uh, it's saying fly fishing best trout river scene fly fishing gear reviews and recommendation fly fishing with the dry flies and wet flies. So those are some really great ideas and it even shows you the videos right here. And then you can get more specific. You can say, uh, only show me videos that were uploaded in the past three months. So only show me videos with a certain number of views. So again, this is in beta mode. It's not gonna be perfect every single time, but um, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm gonna say something like, I have a new channel, uh, I have a new channel on fly fishing. Let me just say, I have a new channel. And I'll also say YouTube channel on fly fishing. And I'll say, what are some good strategies to strategies to grow the channel so you can ask it questions like that and it'll give you some strategies based on new trends and it's going to go out and read articles for you and it's going to summarize those articles for you and you can see right here it's searching up something like how to grow a youtube channel on fly fishing and then it's going to read a bunch of articles and it's going to give you uh, some uh, recommendations you can see that's awesome congratulations on starting a new youtube channel on fly fishing um, and it's going to give you some basic advice, be consistent, upload regularly, um, use catchy titles and uh, descriptions, collaborate with other fishing YouTubers and blah, blah, blah. So you can ask it any type of questions you want. So it could be, how do I grow this YouTube channel? How do I get views on these, on these videos? And it's going to do the research for you and give you the answers. And again, you have to be on a waiting list to get access to this tool right here. But when it is freely available for everyone, it's going to be a game changing tool for us YouTubers, for content creators, and so much more. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and comment down below with any questions, any other video requests or just any random comment. And if you do so, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course and I'll be announcing the winner in the next week's video. So I'll see you guys in the next week's tutorial.